In this video, you will discover the steps to take before painting a piece of furniture. There are four stages to this process, which we will explain to you. Step 1. Choosing your furniture. There are three criteria to take into account when deciding whether it's worth repainting a piece of furniture. Firstly, the condition of the furniture. It shouldn't be broken. Secondly, the material. Choose a piece made from solid wood or plywood rather than laminate furniture. You can identify laminate furniture by its plasticized look. Paint will not adhere to the material. Thirdly, the size of the piece. The bigger the furniture, the longer it will take to paint. Step 2. Preparing and positioning the furniture. Start by removing any detachable parts from the furniture, including any ironmongery. Place the furniture to be painted at a comfortable working height. Apply masking tape to any areas you don't want to paint. Step 3. Choosing paint. There are two types of paint available. Acrylic and glycerophthalic paints. Acrylic paint is the more ecological of the two. It can be diluted and cleaned with water. Glycerophthalic paints are dissolved with a hydrocarbon solvent. In this example, we're using acrylic paint. This type of paint dries more quickly. It does, however, have a weaker coverage and will require at least three coats. But you won't need to use a hydrocarbon solvent to dilute the paint or clean the brushes. Acrylic paint is suitable for wood, glass and metal. Step 4. Choosing a paintbrush. It's essential to choose the right type and size of paintbrush to get a uniform coverage on your furniture. Use a paint roller for larger surfaces and for first coats. To prevent lint, pass your roller over the sticky side of a length of packing tape before you start. For inside corners, use a round brush to get into hard to access areas. If you have any touch-ups to make, a small narrow brush is best. Now you know how to choose and prepare your furniture, you're ready to paint.